When it comes to proposals for a Toronto casino, it's hard for anyone to place a firm bet. What could be built, where it might go, questions that still aren't even close to being answered. Yet the rhetoric continues to heat up. All we've seen from the casino industry is, is these uh, numbers which can only be described as corporate pornography. You know, one day it's 12,000 jobs, the next day it's 20,000 jobs. Statements like that, concerns about the social ills of gambling, now going head to head with a pitch from the gaming industry itself. There's a lot of emotion and misinformation surrounding the debate on casinos. The Canadian Gaming Association releasing what it calls the facts about a Toronto casino. A lot of time has been spent with respect to people's fears and apprehensions. The number one promise, jobs. What we really want people to do is take a look at what really has happened in other communities in Ontario and all of those uh, tales of woe just have not come true. The gaming industry echoes promises made by OLG of 6,000 construction jobs and 12,000 permanent employees. As a union, I can tell you that we support gaming. It's a social interaction. We don't just, it's much more than just putting the finger on a button. It's much more than pulling a lever. The casinos themselves have proposed multi-use resorts in a number of downtown locations. Any preference for a casino location? It's hard to say. It's right next to Bishop Portland, Woodbine. Where we can get the most money? But city councillors, especially those representing downtown, have serious concerns. Councillors have been lobbied hard by the casino industry. Tonight, for the first time, they'll put questions related to where a casino could or should go to the public. I think they should step back and let the people speak. That's what this uh, uh, meeting is about tonight. And that council meeting actually about to get underway here, this town hall meeting. The council chamber is already packed to the brim. There's more than 40 people from both sides of the debate who were signed up to speak. And those fireworks we were talking about, well, those could happen too. You've got Councillor Giorgio Mammoliti, who's very pro-casino. He's here right now lobbying that this whole meeting, this whole consultation is actually illegal. We'll have to see where those arguments go. And of course, we'll keep an eye on it for you. Have all the latest on NewsHour Final tonight at 11.